Hello and welcome to another Next.js tutorial. Myself Sohil Jaffrey and in today's video we are going to see how you can set up SSG and SSR in your app.js router. So what is SSG? SSG basically stands for server side generated. Okay. So what is server side generated? These are the pages which are generated when you type your npm run build. Okay. So whenever the user requests these particular pages, for example, a product page, a blog page or a documentation page. Okay, these pages get directly delivered via cache. Okay, there is no uh, uh, data gathering call from your data to your database. Okay, the pages is cached on build time and directly delivered to the user. Okay, but in a case of SSR, this content is not generated on your server. Okay, so whenever the first call is made for that particular page, your Next.js server makes a call to your database, get that data form that page and deliver to you okay then that page is cached for a while okay you can set the duration okay so i hope this gave you a brief description of what is ssg and ssr in next.js now let's see how you can code this in app.js router okay so let's get started okay so we have a empty next.js project with the app.js configuration okay it's a js project for a basic explanation i'm not writing any typescript here okay since it's a beginner tutorial so what i will do is npm run dev okay so let's set a few more things and i will introduce to you few more things okay so firstly we are going to use this particular service of api json placeholder okay so what json placeholder provides us is some dummy data okay the this is the data of to do's of user one and this is the data of user okay so these are the dummy data okay this will be very helpful for us to set up our ssg and ssg uh, our route okay so let's uh, configure our folder so firstly we will create uh, a folder name users okay then i will create a folder name id okay and in user i will create a page a page page dot js and i will copy this in id as well as i will create a folder to do okay i will explain what i am doing okay in a bit so the user slash users too much okay you know hmm. user slash will be ssg server side generated page okay then the id slash id for user will also be ssg okay this will be ser server side generated but the to do's will be ssr so uh, now this approach or this uh, uh, configuration will help you understand a uh, few things first this will take a static props okay uh, static props are basically props from your next.js server okay static props this will help you understand what is static props as well as static paths okay this is uh, this is this is used in the pages router in app router it is a bit different okay so bear with me okay so in static path the pages are created like for id1 Two, three, four, five, six, seven, so on. So, uh, the function, uh, the this function does that. Okay, it brings all these IDs. Okay, and SSR is server side rendered. So this will get data from server and deliver to you. Okay, cool. Oh, this is too much. Okay, so I will delete it. Then I will set up things here. Okay. I will uh, quickly compose some UI here. Okay. Okay. So we have set our user as well as our home page, which will get us to users. Okay. My bad. Let me fix that. It will be users. Okay. Save. Next. Click here. User page. Okay. Cool. Now, uh, this user page will be SSG server side generated server side generated okay so let's type out our code so in a in case of pages router you have to define your uh, get static uh, props all the stuff but in a case of app router you don't have to do that okay you simply have to do const res is equals to await 
basically data calling will be directly in your pages okay users users will be this and uh, th there won't be any returns okay we will we can directly use this users the h2 tag and uh, h2 tag with name and email okay let's see so this is done now we will change this h2 to link and it will link to user slash id okay let's see one two three four oh it is it is below in the browser okay now let's set up our uh, nested uh, or user one user two id paths okay so for uh, in order to do that we will uh, copy paste this okay and uh, tweak few more things here okay i will change its name to user it won't it don't matter much but uh for a readability purpose i have renamed it and it will be prams okay now i will get const id equals to prams dot id now uh, this is important okay this id will be same as your folder name if you are uh, naming this as uh, slug this will be slug okay this will be slug if you re uh, name it slug okay just to uh, explain uh, what is going under the hood okay for now i will keep it id okay now i will say slash plus id to get user data okay that particular user's data okay now this will be rename it to user as it won't be an array okay it will be a structured data which will contain these fields cool then it will have a link link to its sudo and this to do's will be server side rendered okay oh no no back to okay it will be refs slash okay. slash users slash id slash uh, to do's cool view to do's close this add a class name here class name okay okay let's see what is the output now okay and it will be user dot name okay let's see we will click here okay it is working perfectly user slash one okay now we will connect this page to to do's which will be ssr server side rendered okay uh, we have connected this here now let's get the page uh, page i will copy this again paste but in a case of ss uh, huh, uh, one more thing uh, we have skipped one more thing here uh, in case of pages router you define that uh, get static paths okay get static paths right so you have to do similar thing here but it will be something like this it will be get uh, sorry generate static params okay const res equals to get all the user then get parse it parse the json and return return the params okay params id will come from here okay cool now uh, return this return paths okay this is done now let's get to the to do's in case of to do's i will just rename this to user to do to do page and uh, we will get id from hmm, will get id then this will change it will be plus slash to do's okay in order to get user to do's okay then this will be to do press uh, will also get cons okay this is server side rendered rendered const user res get the user data then get the to do's data okay
rename this and how to rename you can just click f2 okay now this will be our to do's okay to do res to do's res okay cool now let's uh, do the ui uh, so do that we will have our username then uh, list uh, list out its to do to do's to do's and this will be a array map okay cool let's see did we miss anything we can optimize this okay i will i will show how you can do that uh, this will be promise promise dot all okay we will delete this and add a comma here okay Th this accept a array cool now this returns an array as well okay so this will be user res and second one will be will be to do's res okay this map to this and this maps to this cool okay let's move forward let's check what is uh, on our ui okay. view to do's hmm you see we have our to do's here so uh, we can do few more things like uh, in case of error you could just show this message or in case user is not uh, user is not uh, in your database you can just show this then uh, if user is equal to 404 user does not exist return so user not found okay these are the few more things you can do inside the pages okay now let's see if we try to get thousand user data okay user not found cool so with that uh, i have explained how you can set up uh, ssg and ssr routing in your app router i hope with this video you have understood how you can set up your ssg server side generated and ssr that is server side rendered pages in your nextjs project if you find this video helpful do like this video subscribe to this channel and if you have any question regarding nextjs or have any difficulty setting anything up in nextjs do reach me out via comments and with that i will see you in next one bye bye